Hello Year 6. Here's a PowerPoint on circuits and symbols. So the walk for this session is to be able to recognize and draw scientific circuit symbols. Start off by looking at its circuit diagram and just ask yourself is there anything about the circuit diagram you don't remember or understand? It's a very simple circuit. It shows a cell connected to either side of a bulb and because it's a complete circuit, the bulb is a light. Now, what do we mean by battery or cell? In everyday language, we call a single cell a battery, but this is not the correct scientific usage. Scientifically, one battery, as we call it, is a cell. It is a single unit which contains two electrodes and an electrolyte. The electrodes are charged electrical conductors inside a cell. Each cell has one positive and one negative electrode. An electrolyte is a chemical that reacts with the electrodes to produce an electric current. So a battery is the scientific name for a collection of cells joined together. So if you look at these two diagrams, this is one cell, this is one cell, and together they make a battery. This battery has three cells. And in larger batteries, such as car batteries, there's an outer case which contains all the individual cells. Now, here's a little quiz for you. Match the parts of this circuit with their scientific symbols. So you've got a bulb, a cell, and two switches. When you're ready, carry on with the video and look at the answers. So the scientific symbol for a bulb is a circle with either a cross through it or this semicircle inside. Scientific symbol for a cell is two lines with wires coming out of each side. And this is the scientific symbol for a switch. Here's some more for you to match up. This time you've got a buzzer, a motor, switches and wires, and a battery. So pause the video while you have a think. When you're ready, carry on. So again, this time we've got switches, and this is a symbol for a switch that's open. The M is the giveaway for the motor. This is a buzzer. The wire is just a straight line. And the battery is shown by two cells with dots between them to show that there may be more than just the two. So you have one minute to memorize these symbols. Time's up. Now we'll see how many of those symbols you can recall. I'm going to show you part of a circuit. You need to write down the scientific symbol. There are seven altogether. Here's the first one, the bulb. What's the symbol for a bulb? Next, a switch. A wire. A 
a cell. A motor. A battery. A buzzer. So let's see how you did. Number one, the bulb. You can have either of those symbols. Number two, the switch. You could have drawn either a closed switch or an open switch. Number three, a wire. A wire is always a straight line. Number four, a cell. Number five, a motor. A circle with a big M inside of it. Number six, the battery. Remember, it's shown as two cells with dots in between. Number seven is the buzzer. And these are the symbols you should be using if you draw a circuit using scientific notation. So that's it. Hopefully now you know some of the scientific symbols for the main parts of a circuit and you would be able to draw a circuit diagram using those symbols.